I asked you guys today, give me one moment that you would love to change in the history of college football that you think would have the maximum impact on the sport. And I had like three in my head, but you guys brought like 300 to me. And uh, over the course of the afternoon, it's really blown up. But there's only one place for me to start here because the most vivid memory I have of one of those seminal moments in college football is 2011. And I was in a movie theater when it happened. I was watching Jay Edgar. And it was a Friday night. LSU was the number one team in the country. Alabama had lost to LSU already. Game of the century, mind you. And we were on a collision course for Mike Gundy's Oklahoma State Cowboys to meet LSU down in New Orleans for a national championship, except that no one told Iowa State. And so you know how this went down. Oklahoma State goes up there. Oh, it's tied. End of regulation. Field goal to win it and stay undefeated. It's up. To me, it still looks good. But hey, they called it no good. Paul Rhodes and the, at that point, four and four Iowa State Cyclones take it to overtime. They win it in overtime. What if I change this? What if I, what if I just brush this kick uh, like three micro inches inside the upright and it's good? Oklahoma State stays undefeated. Obvi. They go on to boat raise Oklahoma like they did anyway. There is no Big 12 championship game that year. They're in. They're in the national championship game. They play LSU. Okay? Full butterfly effect. Okay? Ashton Kutcher style. Amy Smart, great in that movie too. Uh, Louis Lastic, a little disappointed in him. Follow me here for a second. Because obviously this has ramifications at Oklahoma State, but that's not what I asked. I asked for a circumstance, changing a moment, that would just have a ripple effect uh, the likes of which would impact the entire sport. Well, this impacts the entire sport. Number one, I don't take it for granted that I know how the national championship game would have even turned out. Now, if Mike Gundy got a national championship, it would have been huge. LSU would have been the solid favorite. That game was in New Orleans. Remember, it ended up being Bama and LSU, and, and LSU just no-showed the game. They barely crossed the 50 until late in the fourth quarter. Now, that was a very good Alabama defense, but ugh, it was so bad. There are people down in the boot who are firmly convinced that there was something nefarious about the game. On their own side, friendly nefariosity, if you will, as Meemaw would say. I'm not here to tell you I have evidence one way or the other on that, but what I am here to tell you is if that LSU team showed up against Oklahoma State, they would have towed it to L that night too. Oklahoma State would have beat them. I have no clue how it would have turned out. I'm not even really here to tell you I'm interested in who would have won the national championship, although I am. What I'm interested in is, number one, you've, you've got the Bama thing there, but I think Bama would have been fine. They would have just gone on to regroup. They won it the next year. Who knows what they would have done, but I, they would have been fine. What would it have done to college football in the way of the four-team playoff? Because this is widely looked at. This Bama LSU national championship game is widely viewed as the straw that broke the camel's back. That was the breaking of the dam that paved the way for the four-team playoff. Because up until that point, the BCS had its detractors. Me not being one of them. God bless you, BCS. But a lot of people were detractors and they didn't necessarily like that there were computers involved. You remember, if you're old enough, you remember what the the cries against the BCS were. But what it had never given us until that point was, number one, a, a rematch from the same division and obviously, therefore, a matchup of teams from the same conference. Then it gave it. it then it gave it. There in 2011, we got that SEC versus SEC. I agreed that it was the right matchup. Some people didn't. Whatever. It wasn't too long after that that we found out, hey, come 2014, I think it was, the 2014 season, we've got a four-team college football playoff coming. Now, I think that what the situation in reality was, was just like it's been with the 12-team playoff, there were a lot of people in the room who realized we're making pretty good money right now in college football, but we could make even better money. And we can convince all the people over here it's in their best interest. They'll go along with it. Trust me, they'll go along with it. And they were right. And I was one of them at the time, so I went along with it. I can't, I can't knock you guys because I was, I, was, I was a clapping seal too. Give me the playoff. Give me the playoff. And um, I think that would have won out regardless. I just don't know that it would have happened as quickly. 
But when you got that SEC versus SEC, yeah. So anyway, we hit the rewind button. Just, we go all the way back to Ames, Iowa that night. What if they make that field goal? And by the way, yours truly, as I said, in a movie theater uh, with, with a lovely young lady, and no attention was paid to her the rest of the night. When the iJosh, which was in its infancy, it was like an iJosh won that night, but when it started going off, there was no movie, there was no her, there was just, what is happening to my sport? That should tell you, by the way, what I thought of that game and what I thought of Oklahoma State's chances to lose that night. I wasn't watching. I went to the movies to see a movie I could have seen any time. I still haven't watched it again, though, strangely. I think I know what I need to know about Jay Edgar. Probably should. Even now, I should probably still say that on the low. Uh, but, yeah, so the first thing that came to my mind was Oklahoma State, Iowa State. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Make sure you like the video and please subscribe to the channel. Not just for me, that's how we keep this entire thing free.